Expendables could just be the biggest boys film ever made with back-to-back -back explosions and fight scenes, but director, co-writer and star Sylvester Stallone thinks there's something in it for the ladies too. It's a woman that starts the ball rolling. It's a woman that gives us back our dignity and heart. And it's a woman that kicks Jason to the curb and then he comes to save her in the very end. So I think so. You know, this is like, it's not eat, love, pray, but it's like beat, duck, bleed. With so many huge action heroes in one movie, there must have been some rivalry between them. We all hated each other. No, no, we're, no, no, we're, 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 we're there's a bit of rivalry because, you know, one guy's got bigger arms, one guy's a better actor, one guy's richer, one guy's like more successful, the other one's taller. Or, you know, it's more of dialogue, or but a little bit of rivalry, but uh, there's always that on the movie stuff. But, you know, at the same time, we're in this same team trying to make a great movie under the direction of Mr. Sly Stallone, you don't mess with him. So, so I suppose everybody just kind of got in line and, uh, you know. Everyone gets a little piece of their, uh, of their uh, pie, and, um, you know, you just do what you're required to do. And everyone, you know, you've got some of the uh, toughest athletes in the world, you know, Randy Couture and... Steve Austin and people like that. I mean, you can't compete with these when it comes to strength and endurance, and you know you you have to you have to be inspired by them boys.